I've made um, my porridge this morning using macambo. I've done this porridge um, before with um, tanya, plantain. So what happens is sometimes the only ideas that we have to make porridge is things like uh, cornmeal, cream of wheat, mostly imported things. Sometimes the very thing you're looking for is the one thing you can't see. But it is so simple that you could use your own plantain and your, your tanya um, sweet potato and you can make you can make your um, your porridge. All you do is just blend it, blend the, blend the thing, blend it. And then you can just put it in, in, in put it in your pan with, with a little water, and stir. Add your milk and your this normal sugar and things that you want. They normally add, and at the end of the day, you're going to get very fortified, strong um, porridge, fortified porridge with good benefits. Now, even we into in 2021, and instead of going forward, we go backward. All of our baby formula is being imported. And they, the same products that we have could have been used to make baby formula. It seems like we have a propensity, we have a mindset to just import things. We never think of making anything for ourselves. I think one of the reasons why we are um, in this um, situation is for the most part, as a country, as a country, we have not really gone through hardship in this country as a country generally as a whole we have not really gone through um through through hardship because in places like cuba because of certain hardship it costs them and it forced them to um to engineer whatever city systems that they had to make life better for themselves in places like guyana years past decades ago it was very tough and so they use their minds to survive and to create things that will make life easier for them. Modified um, tools to make life simpler, simpler for them. The, uh, when Burnham was president of Guyana, there were certain products that were banned. And so people were able to use the products that they had, the resources that they have, the normal food that they had to make baby food and all kind of different things. But it seems like in St. Lucia, we have not really had hard times in this country. So people just have a mindset to just buy everything. We need to move back. And we need to really think of the way we're living in this place. We are important to many things. And so what I believe too is um, we need to be starting, we need to start to find ways to um use what we have to make different dishes and different meals one of the things one of the problems i think that we have in the country is we do not have enough different methods and ways of preparing foods so somebody will just say they do not eat breadfruit because they only know or experience boiled breadfruit and there are so many different ways in which breadfruit can be prepared but these are some of the things that has to be done and um a lot of times these are the things that the government should be pushing but the governments are more interested in sometimes um pushing the agenda of the corporate of the corporate um entities and do things that will benefit the ordinary persons just by the way circumstantially but um this you see here uh, that's something that I I am trying to push. I'm trying to push a national agenda to get people to get into consuming more of our local foods, especially right now in this um, virus season. We need to eat more of our local foods to support our local economy so that if we can make porridge using um, using things like plantain, and sweet potato and tanya more of there'll be a greater demand for those things and people will be producing more of those things and so we need to get more money circulating in the local economy by that way sometimes the very thing you're looking for is the one thing you can't see and so this is something i'm proposing 
Now, anytime you speak those vibes in the country, people saying that man want to be involved in politics or what, I can promise you, I'm not interested. There was a time I was interested in this thing. But I can promise you, at least from the, the, the mindset that I have right now, that I don't want to be involved in this thing in politics for the rest of my life. But I really want to serve the country by pushing things that will really help us and I don't believe that you have to be in politics to be in elective politics to be to, to have an impact, a positive impact on your country. So I want to encourage you to try this thing. When you go by the market, try to buy some tanya or some plantain, some sweet potato, and just try to make some porridge like I have there right now. And if it is that you want to see a video from start to finish, I can do that also. Just comment in the section below and I will do it. A video showing you from scratch how the porridge is done. So this is just an effort. It is just a, a self-project that I have on this channel. I'm trying to get people to use more local foods so that there will be a demand for local foods and the money will circulate in the rural economy and we'll be we'll have we'll have less of a need to import um, some of these things that we import this is a personal project of mine that i'm trying to push